Hey guys, what is up? Sometimes 20 here, or Luke is bringing you guys a different kind of video. Now, as you guys can obviously tell, I'm on my computer. I'm recording my computer. Uh, I'm doing the bracket challenge group once again. Uh, if you guys don't know, I've been doing this the last two years. Uh, if you guys want to enter in my bracket challenge league, uh, if you go to all leagues, I'm actually on the first page here. Uh, as you guys will see, don't be sad 20 right there. There's already almost 3,500 people in the group, and the winner of the group is going to get the Con Smythe winner. Uh, the best card. So say Jonathan Taze wins the Con Smythe, uh, you'll get the Team of the Year Taze then. So um, that's all you got to do. If you're going to enter, uh, use your uh, Twitter handle or just something that you will remember. Uh, because whenever uh, the, the playoffs are over and the brackets are done, uh, I'll contact. I'll try to contact the winner via Twitter. I'll tweet out the bracket winner, and then you'll have to show me that it's yours. But we're going to go into my Stanley Cup predictions. Now, I know what you guys are already thinking in your head. He's going to pick the Hawks. He's a bias, whatever. You guys can say that all you want, but I'm just showing you guys what I'm putting down on my bracket. So, we'll start off versus Dallas versus Minnesota. I'm going with Minnesota in seven. Um, I don't think Dallas' defense can withstand a, a seven-game playoff series. Uh, and I don't think Niemi and Le uh, Lettinen uh, can really withstand that. Granted, it's Dubnik and Ned his first time in the playoffs, but uh, I just have more faith in Minnesota's decor uh, than I do Dallas' offense, really. Now, Chicago versus St. Louis. You guys know who I'm picking. I'm picking the Chicago Blackhawks. I think it's going to go six. Um, I mean, honestly, I just can't see the Hawks losing to the Blues. Um, I don't know if that's just out of habit or whatever, but uh, I just can't see it happening. I think we'll finally lock it down and all have finally all four lines rolling. But um, I do think Crawford will play outstanding again like he has been all year. Uh, so I do, uh, I do think the Hawks are going to go through. Uh, Anaheim and Nashville. I'm going to go Anaheim in six. Uh, I just think whoever starts, Anderson or Gibson, um, and along with their decor, I, I just think Anaheim's probably the team to beat right now if you're asking me for the Western Conference. Uh, so I'm going with six games uh, against Nashville. Uh, the Kings versus the Sharks. I'm going the Sharks in seven. Um, I don't know. Joe Thornton's having a, uh, one of his better years in his career. Obviously, he's a passing expert. That doesn't even make sense. He's an insanely good playmaker and stuff like that he's having a great year i don't know i just got a feeling about the the sharks i think river's gonna do outstanding in the playoffs he normally well he did when he was with the leafs again uh, I, I mean except for boston but uh, i have faith in san jose um so i'm going san jose there now washington and philadelphia i'm going for the upset now you guys gotta take you guys let me let, hear me out if you're going to win the bracket challenge you gotta have some upsets now don't get me wrong i'd love to see ovechkin win a cup i'd love to see ocean win a cup Baxter win a cup and everyone on the team win a cup there. But with the uh, owner and the founder of the Flyers just dying recently, and they've been pretty well. I mean, for some, they've been pretty hot for the most part. They've been hot. Uh, I think Mason will step on it. I think Giroux, Simmons, um, Voracek, and everyone will just step it up. Got us be here. I think I think they can do it in seven games. Um, I don't know. I just got a gut feeling about Philadelphia. Uh, so moving on to Pittsburgh and New York. I have the New York Rangers in seven. I think Henrik Lundqvist is going to be Henrik Lundqvist once again. And uh, I just think he's going to be hard to beat. Um, with Marc-Andre Fleury just coming back from injury, I don't really know how I feel about that. I know, I, I'm pretty sure Lundqvist was injured or something like that recently in practice. But uh, if Lundqvist is in, I think he goes seven. I think New York has it. Uh, moving to Florida to New York Islanders, I'm going with Florida Panthers in six. Uh, I, I just think Florida is a better all-around team. Uh, with Ekblad leading the defensive core. He's just been unreal this year. Um, and, I mean, the Islanders don't even have Halak, so I, I just can't see the Islanders winning and getting best of seven um, against the Flyers and Yager. Going up against Tampa and Detroit now. Now, I'm going to go with Tampa Bay. I know Stamkos is out. I think it's going to be in seven. I know Stamkos is out. I know Tyler Johnson's injured, but I think Ben Bishop's going to stay being Ben Bishop. They have Victor Hedman still. I think they'll be fine. They have Palat. Kucherov, so I, I still think they have the offensive power needed, and they have a world-class defenseman in Hedman and a world-class goalie in Bishop, so I'm going Tampa Bay there. Moving on to the, who's getting in the conference finals. Once again, I'm going to Chicago Blackhawks. I'm biased, I know. Let me hear it in the comments, but uh, like I said, I just think Crawford's going to carry the team once again this year. I mean, um, if we can roll all four lines like we've been trying to this whole year without injuries and stuff like that, I think we'll be fine. Um, we won last year with only four pretty much four defensemen so uh with five defensemen at least this year i think i think we'll be solid against the wild um and i think do i think do will have a good playoff but um i just i just don't think there's enough scoring for minnesota 
But moving on to Anaheim and San Jose, I'm gonna go Anaheim uh, once again. And uh, like I like I was saying, I, I just I think Anaheim's the team to beat right now. Um, they've been hot all all year except for the first what like three weeks they were in the bottom of the league. But ever since then they've been on a tear. Uh, I think John Gibson and Anderson's probably the best tandem in the league right now, um, and it's gonna be hard to beat them for sure. Uh, moving on to Philadelphia, New York. I'm going to give it to the Flyers once again. I, I honestly, I don't know why. I just have a gut feeling about them. I don't really know why. Uh, I think Drew's going to step up. I think Simmons is going to step up. And I, I love God's be here. So I'm going with Philadelphia against the Rangers. That's probably going to the seven as well. And I think the Florida Panthers are going to beat their Florida brother in the Tampa Bay Lightning. Probably in seven games as well. Like I said with Tampa before, um, they still have good offensive power. Uh, but I think... Florida with Luongo in that, I just I just have more faith in Florida winning. Um, so yeah, so the conference finals I have is the Philadelphia Flyers and the Florida Panthers uh, and the Chicago Blackhawks and the Anaheim Ducks. From the West, I'm going with the Chicago Blackhawks. I know, I know, I know, but um, I, I just I just have confidence in the Hawks. I don't know what it is. It's the they're a playoff team, as everyone knows. Um, and once, I don't know, I just, I just have faith in my Hawks. Call me biased or whatever. It's just a gut feeling like I've been saying. Um, but that's just what I'm going with. I'm going with the Hawks against Anaheim. Anaheim's going to be a tough, that's probably going to go seven as well. Uh, like I've been saying, Gibson, that, they're definitely the team to beat for me. I think if the Hawks don't win it, it's the, okay, fine. If the Hawks or the Caps aren't, like, don't get past the second round, I think it's the Ducks, uh, to lose at that point. But, uh, I'm definitely going with the Hawks. And I'm going with the Florida Panthers. I, I don't know why. I've had a good feeling about the Panthers, too, all year. Um, with Yager leading them, I just I just really I, I really want Yager to win another cup. I want Luongo to finally win a cup. I just want the Panthers to win, and I think they can do that against the Flyers. But as it all turns out, I have the Chicago Blackhawks winning the Stanley Cup Finals. Obviously, I'm biased. Let me hear it down below. Let me hear how Panarin's not a rookie. I have the Hawks winning the Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, against the Panthers. I think that's going to go at least six. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it went seven, but that is my Stanley Cup bracket. Uh, as you guys can see, so like I said, go into my league. Uh, all you have to do is go to all leagues, and I'm on the front page right there, don't be that 20, and enter in with your Twitter handle or a name that you can recognize because I'll tweet out the bracket. Uh, but guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Uh, and yeah, like I said, go join and let me know if you join. Invite your friends. I want to try and get, I want to try and get 5,000 people in here, but we'll see how that goes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know down below. Let me know down below how biased I am, how stupid I am, how wrong I am. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!